And we're here. Wow. We're live. My name is Daryl. I am Tommy. And we are the student pastors here at Cross Life Church and Cross Life Students. We are so glad to be with you guys tonight for our first ever Wednesday Night Live. I am so excited. Like, this is so cool. So, yeah, we're just, we're pumped. Obviously, the situation isn't the greatest. No. We would much rather be having youth group where we get to, like, give you high fives and fist bumps and awkward side hugs. But we can't. So we're here. Um, the six-foot rule is in a p application here. I don't know where Tommy's been. But uh, we are hey, so hey. glad that you're joining us. And there's still time to tell your friends to get on here, crosslifestudents.online.church. And yeah, so Tommy, what, what do we need them to do for okay, us? Okay, this is what we need you to do. If you have not already, because I know a lot of you have, we have a chat open uh, on the website and that you could just ask questions. You can like talk to us and we're going to be like completely communicating with you throughout this whole time. Completely so, communicating. Completely <laughs> communicating through this whole time. So we're make sure you do that. In case you haven't um, noticed. Yeah, I, I say words sometimes. <laughs> Um, but make sure you do that. Also, we want to know your prayer requests. We're obviously praying for you. We're, uh, you're obviously in our hearts, uh, but you can put your prayer requests right in there. Just it says live prayer. Live and our prayer. man, Hunter Bruce is over there across the room and he is moderating our comments. And also he'll be willing to pray with you uh, via Absolutely. chat. Um, and the rest of us will pray for it after we're done. Yeah. Uh, but Hey, we're not going to be long tonight, but here's the thing. We made a, a post earlier this week and we asked you guys to share the living daylights out of it. Ooh. And one of you, a lot of you did it, but one of you went above and beyond. And there's somebody outside your door right now. My wife what? is on FaceTime. I don't know if you can see her. Oh, my stars. She is walking up to your house as we speak. Pizza. Reading, she is delivering pizza to, I the doorbell. to it Ben. Like rain. Is ben, 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 ben Cannon. Cannon, are you on here? It'd ben be Cannon. Really Hi. It'd be really embarrassing for you, Ben, if you were not on watching us right is now. He, is he there? Oh, good. oh, he's watching That's it. Good. That means Woo! he's good. All right, sweet. Ben. ben, enjoy your pizza, man. Have a great time. Amanda, don't get shot. Going home. I love you. We'll talk to you later. Ooh, that'd be bad. All right. So, Ben, enjoy your pizza, and hopefully your family is doing well. My wife uh, hopefully will not get infected by whatever your family is carrying it's at true. this point. So, uh, true. <laughs> didn't think that one through. No, he didn't no, think that's that right. one through. Usually, but, Ben is carrying something. We just don't know what it is. <laughs> but So, hey, what we're going to do tonight, before we have a time of worship and we get into God's Word together, we want to play a game. Woo! So, we're going to play a little game. Any of you guys? Have you seen the, the chalk the walk thing that people are doing? I terrible at drawing so so these here's are better than here's mine. what this game how this game works we're going to put a picture up on the screen here in a second and when you'll look at it and there'll be three options and you have to decide what the option is and you can just put your answer in the comments and uh and we're just gonna have some fun with it i'm excited all right i personally think i'm gonna win slide number one here we go what is that it is either a a vampire b an angry cow, angry cow. or c Kalthos Sunstrike. Okay. So leaf. we got it. That's you guesses for what do we B, got? B, B, vampire. Yikes. Just someone just says yikes. <laughs> That's not an B. option. All right, let's find out our right, answer. It's hey. a vampire. You guys okay. were oh. someone just Ava put Grace. A afterwards. Izzy, um, well done. All right, next picture. Next picture. I know Here what we you go. guys are doing. I'm a, a crow looking for trash to eat. Ooh. B, a T Rex with abnormal stick like growths out of his snout. That, that or C, sense. a yawning deer. What do we got? We got A, B, or C, guys. Hit your comments. I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with B. Well, we got C. A lot of B's and C's. A lot of B's and C's. C, C. Let's see what that answer is. A. A, a crow a. looking for trash to eat. What? Where's the. I think one of you like guessed it. All right. Where's the, let's go to the next one. Here we go. Right, let's see here. These are getting good. Oh, the, this one's good. A, a zombie rabbit. B, uh -huh. a happy bat. Or C, this is you, daddy. Oh, definitely this is you, daddy. <laughs> what do this, you guys think? A, B, or C? image of me. What do you think? Eleanor Drop could Drop it in bat. there. H. Someone put H. It, not H an is not an option. Not an option, that's okay. people. All right, let's find out what the answer is. Here we go. A happy B. bat. See, you can tell because he's smiling. Yeah, right, can't so you see that that's a smile? Me. He's a happy bat. All right, next question. Here we go. This one's This is either a three-horned goat, Grondark, lizard king of the north, or C, a dancing gecko. I think it's Grondark, lizard king Grand of the north. I just like the name Grondark. 
think you can say my next name. child like that. I think Ron Mary, Dark, come here. No, I think Ron Mary Dark. would kill you. No, no, Ron <laughs> Dark, don't do that. Maybe like a middle name. Yeah. Okay. So what do you guys think? That is Ron Hart Larson. Uh, let's find out the answer. Here we go. Let's see here. A B dancing gecko, and dancing you see gecko. the one leg is lifted up. It's like a mid jig. Oh, it's a mid jig. I thought maybe it was a goat getting ready to pee on something. Oh, that makes sense. I don't sense. know, but it's okay. How would that work? I, I'm not sure. Okay. Next one. Let's find out where we're at. Woo, All right, we got scary. A, a friendly centipede, mm -hmm. B, a superhero cat fighting bad guys, <laughs> or C, the coronavirus strain. Oh, is this something that I want it to be or something that the kids drew? Because I really wanted to be a superhero bat fighting bad guys. Well, it's a cat fighting bad guys, but that's cool. Oh, it says bat? <laughs> cat. <laughs> leave it up uh, to the, the right. eyes. Leave it up to the so, dyslexia. Well, who knows? <laughs> who knows? What, what do you guys think? Either A, B, or C. C, C. We got a lot of C's. C's. A, lot a lot of Corona. Of Carson, you get C a lot. Oh, my stars. Someone really wants it to be C. We are. Someone wants it to be A. Hey, by the way, guys, we got 71 people in here right Woo! now. Woo! 71 people. That's amazing. And climbing. That's awesome. All right. What do we got? Let's find out. B, B, a superhero cat fighting B. bad guys. You're all wrong. You are all done. It is a superhero cat. Arms bat or fighting. fur, hashtag art. You Ooh. can't question an artist, especially when they're 12 or you when can't. they're three years old. You know, or best, if they're Tommy Larry. Some of my best work as an artist came when I was three. It's just gone downhill since then. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Uh, next one. Next one. Let's see what we got. Ooh. All right, so I'm wow. going to have a – before we read through these, I'm going to have a confession. Um, Pet <laughs> Exactly. It's a pterodactyl. Uh, the P Pet apparently is silent in pterodactyl. I never realized that until the like maybe e. like two years ago. P and All right, e. so – Who P and E before a word? Does not make any sense if it's not silent? This is either A, a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl? Or for us, I'm, you know, like people that actually phonetically read. A, a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl. Uh, B, a dragon who's also a fireman. I like that. Well done. Or C, a rabbit relaxing in a hammock. I'm going to say B because you just, here's the thing. Only a three-year-old would think of, oh, this is a dragon who's also a fireman. You know, like this is I, obviously. I, I think that's. A obviously, good. this is a dragon who's also a fireman. Obviously, um, he burns things down. What do you guys say? We got a lot of bees. bees. A lot of people Thank thinking you. bees because they're agreeing with you. Because they think I've seen this. A lot oh, of a's. a lot of a's. Someone got. All right. Someone was angry there. Here we go. Let's uh, see. Let's find Let's out the it. answer. It is a bees. dragon. Woo! Who's also a fire? So how does that work? Does the dragon like set the structure on fire? It's it's and really then, like, put it out. It's it's job it's job security really. I, that's what I'm thinking. It's, it's job kind of like the doctor <gasps> who. Oops, I'm so sorry. Like in in like infects people and then cures them. Yeah, it's just or a skunk who wants to do nice fragrance. You know, I want to be in your head for just one day. Yeah, well, no one, no, you don't. <laughs> no All you right, don't. I think we got a few more, right? No, you don't. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh ha! This is either a that's ratatouille, some sort of quail. B, a T-Rex named Scott, or C, just a plain old duck. I was saying just a plain old duck. What do you guys think? A, B, or C? We got a lot, lot of C-Rex in here. A couple Bs. Why would he need to be named Scott? Uh, Scott's a fun name. Uh, hey, I've Scott. never met a Scott that I don't like. Well, like, you know, here's Scott's the thing. Scott's a fun name. If a I had a T-Rex, the obvious name would be Scott. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. All right, Rexy, let's, maybe let's, let's, Scott. Let's, let's Yo, Scott. Out the answer. It's C. It's, it's just a plain old duck. It's just a plain old duck. Quack, quack. The duck Listen, has an extra arm, though. If you look at that, this kid didn't have much. It looks like there, there, there's like two legs and an arm. I've this, never seen a duck with an arm. If I find kid, a duck that has an arm, I'm running away. This kid didn't have much imagination. The last kid had a lot. This is a dragon. This is a fireman. <laughs> Next one. This is a duck. All right, here we go. This is a <laughs> teenage mutant ninja turtle drinking a smoothie. Oh, well, yeah. B, mommy drinking her coffee. Uh-huh. Or C, Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 3. Not two or one, but three. Is there four Tom Cruise in movies? I don't even Mission know. There's like 20 of them now. He, he he's is. He's getting so The old. guy's like 80 years old, but, but he yeah, looks like he's, he's 20. Still. I know. He's jumping off a building. Tell me your secret, Tom, and it's not Scientology, okay? I know, I know that much. We're, All right. Hey, you know that Tom and I are related by first name? That, that is very true. Well done. All right, yeah, what do you guys think? A, B, or C? A, 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 B, or C? Uh, Some says B. Someone says Z. There's not a Z on here. All right, B, a lot of Bs. A lot of Bs. Bs. All right, let's find out what we got. A. 
It is, it is, Tom, he Cruise. is Tom Cruise. Okay. And Mission Impossible. Here's my 3. question, though. What three year old is allowed to watch Mission Impossible what 3? What parent is letting their three year old watch Mission Unbelievable. Impossible 3? Unbelievable. Come on, if, people. If, you, if you're the parent that's watching this, that's done that, um, I apologize. Um, yeah. Send your letters to Tommy Larison at Cross Life Church. But uh, <laughs> stop letting your kid watch Mission Impossible 3 if they're three. Just exactly. Like All right. When they were one, did the they watch three? Mission is Impossible the sequence one? of the movie, not the like age requirement. All right. Here we go. Last one. We're going to do this last one. Here we go. Did they even know this is on? either A, Ooh. the sun blasting rays of death on unsuspecting people? He does look goers. sad. He does look sad. I'm just saying. A creepy octopus giving a hug. Well, that could be. Or C, Spider Man. <laughs> oh, I'm saying Spider Man. What do you guys think? A, B, or well, C? Why would the web have a smile? A sun blasting rays of death on unsuspecting beachgoers. A creepy octopus giving a hug or Spider Man. Let's find out the answer. Hey! hey! Climate change is real, people. Climate the sun is, is blasting death rays upon unsuspecting beachgoers. While all having a <laughs> grin on his face. All uh -huh. right. Hey, guys. We are, again, so glad that you're here with us. We are so happy uh, that you've joined us. And we're getting ready to transition into a time of the night where normally when we get together for youth group on Wednesday mm -hmm. nights, we have a time of worship. Our middle school worship band has been growing and getting like so yeah, it's exciting great. It's great to see, them to all see people getting involved. Mm -hmm. Our high school mission, our high school worship team is led by Patrick and the team there. We miss having you guys lead in worship. So tonight we just want to take a few minutes and have our worship leader, uh, Patrick Henderson, lead us in a song. I know it's awkward to like, kind of worship via digitally, but man, I encourage you to engage, sing along, and enjoy this time of worship as Patrick leads us. Amen. You know, we have our opportunity tonight to, in the middle of all the change, in the middle of all the craziness, in the middle of all the unknowns, we have an opportunity to lift up our God and worship. I count on Thank God that never fails, will not fail me now, won't fail me now, through waiting. Thank God is never late, it's working all things out, working all things out, oh yes I will lift you up in the lowest valley, yeah. Bless your name, oh yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy, oh my days, oh yes, I will. I come on one day, the same God never fails, and I fail. God, we know. 
know that you are in control. But we know that in this season of chaos, in this season of unknowns, God, that you remain true, that you remain faithful, and we can put our hope and our faith and our trust in who you say you are. So, Father, speak tonight. Speak to our hearts, to our lives. Speak through your words. Speak through Daryl. We give it all to you. It's a precious name. Amen. In the quiet silence, there is an eternal conversation between creator and creation. But we can hardly hear. It's the violence of sound, the breakneck speed of things. Has noise become our only defense? But we are drawn by a whisper that we might hear and retune the senses as he waits, waits, waits for our response. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Glad you guys are with us again. So thankful that we get the chance to meet in this way. Uh, thanks Patrick for leading us in that worship song. It's one of my favorites right now. Uh, I found myself just like singing that one a lot this week. Um, guys, it's been a little crazy. I think it's safe to say that the last like two weeks or so have been um, overwhelming at times, maybe feeling a little... Um, beat down, um, unsure, maybe you're anxious, maybe you're scared, maybe you're worried. Um, I know for me personally, just the other day, um, I woke up, I'm really having a hard time sleeping lately. Like I've been waking up early in the morning and just not able to fall back asleep. So I, I find myself drinking a cup of coffee at the table and just doing a lot of thinking. Um, and the other morning I found myself just overwhelmed like the what if scenarios in my, um, I'm told I have to stay home and I can't come to work. And like, what does that look like working from home as a youth pastor? Like, what if, um, my kids get sick? What if one of my family members catches this virus, you know, like, or something as simple as like, what if I run out of toilet paper? Have you guys noticed like just the insanity that has ensued over a piece of tissue that you use in the bathroom? Like, it's crazy how much people have lost their minds. And so much of it has to do with the fact that they're uncertain. They're unsure. They're stressed. They're anxious. They're overwhelmed. And maybe that's you. Maybe you in this moment of the coronavirus and COVID like, and everything that's been going on, you've had a hard time resting. Maybe it's the, the, the thought of maybe you're a senior and you don't know if graduation is going to happen. Or maybe your prom got canceled. Or maybe you're an athlete and you're seasoned, you're a track athlete, and you've never got a chance to step on the, on the track to compete. Maybe you're a baseball player and your whole season has gone away. Maybe you're a, a, um, an actress or an actor or a musician and your performances have been canceled. And you just don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. Maybe you're just scared and worried and stressed and anxious like I was the other night or the other morning, excuse me. Well, in that moment, I, I was preparing for this message and I, I was reminded of what I've been reading in preparation. And I flipped open to the Bible and I found in Psalm chapter number 46, a passage that just spoke to my heart. And I want to read it to you guys tonight as we, as we wrap up our time together and as we just spend time in God's word. Listen to these words very carefully, because in the moment of my anxiety, in the moment of my stress, in the moment of my struggle, God spoke to me through these words. Listen carefully. It says this, 
God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling, there is a river whose stream make glad the city of God. The holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. Verse 7. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord. How he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spears. He burns the chariots with fire. Catch this next verse. So important. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. I love this passage and it's a psalm that I don't I can't tell you how many times I've read it over the years and how many times you know that that verse in verse 10 be still and know that I am God has been quoted or I've read it on a t-shirt or I've seen it on like an inspirational quote on Instagram and, and all these things but in that moment of chaos God used that. He calmed my soul. He gave me peace. And it was in that moment I was reminded of who God is. You see, in verse one, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a present help in trouble. Guys, the world's gone crazy and the world is sick and this virus is spreading. But God is strong. God is our protector. God is is who he claims to be. He's our help in time of trouble. Verse seven, it says, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. You guys ever build like a pillow fort when you were a kid? Obviously, those things don't really stand the test of time. Like if you had a big dog, it it fell over, right? But the fortress of God is impenetrable. It protects us. It takes care of us. We can trust that God is with us. We can trust that he will take care of us. He's powerful enough to make wars cease. He's powerful enough to break the bows and shatter the spears. When I read that the other morning, I kind of threw it into the new Daryl translation a little bit. And I said, he makes viruses cease. He breaks the sickness. Our God's powerful. Our God is able. And if he wants to, he will. We just need to sit and be still. Because in the next phrase, it says, be still and know that I am God. We're stuck in our homes. We're stuck in our houses, not really able to do much of anything, but play board games with our families, which can be stressful in and of itself. But you have some time to be still. Have you had a chance to just sit, take a deep breath, and know that God is God? Remind yourself that God is powerful, that God is able, that God is is working, that God will be exalted among the nations. You know what's really cool about this whole virus thing going on is that the gospel is probably being seen and heard by more people worldwide since the church doors have been shut because everybody's gone online streaming. Everybody's doing this. God won't be held down by a virus. God will overcome. Be still. Trust that. Trust that he is who he is. 
Because in verse 11, he reminds us again, the Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of hosts is our fortress. Nothing, and I mean nothing, can stop that. Guys, we're praying for you this week. We know things are uncertain. We know timeline-wise, we don't know what's next or how long we're going to have to do this or how long things are going to be different. But we do know that God is God. And in those moments of uncertainty, we get to take a deep breath and trust him. Can I pray for us? God, we thank you for the fact that you are God that you are the Lord of hosts, that you are our fortress, that you are stronger than anything that can come against us. God, I pray that you would work in our lives. Lord, remind us to be still. Help us to take time to just sit in your presence, read your word, pray, worship, God, I pray for safety and health for every single one of our students and those that might be listening to this that have no connection to us at all. God, I pray that you would do a mighty work in our lives. Lord, use us to proclaim the gospel. Use us to share the good news of Christ, whether it be through social media or through our conversations that we have with our friends over over Facebook or Instagram or, or FaceTime. Lord, whatever it is, let us use whatever medium we have to reach people for you. God, we love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, this was a fantastic uh, evening. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Uh, If you did, please share this video um, and all the other videos that we're doing during this time. We want you to know that we care about you, we love you, and we want to pray for you. So let us know uh, how we can be praying for you. And get in touch with each other. Get in touch with uh, your small groups. Have Zoom or Skype or Instagram or whatever you need to do to to stay in touch with your small group leaders. Stay in that, still still have that community with each other. Um, Once again, we go live uh, on Monday at 3 p.m. and also uh, Wednesday at 7 p.m. We hope that we can all see you uh, there and stay safe. And once again... Uh, Stay frosty. Remember, get me one.